Segmented donut charts divide the chart into sections, so it's easy to gauge values at a glance. And the visual scale also makes it easy to compare metrics. In Tableau, we can create all four of these donut charts within a single worksheet. And while I've used this in the past to show progress, in this example, they're built off of four financial metrics. So I'll start off on a new worksheet to build the segmented donut charts. To create the donut structure, I'm going to first type zero twice into the columns. And for the first mark, I'm going to change the mark type to a pie. Then I'll pull measure values into the marks and make it an angle. And we already have the metric value in there, so I'm going to type in the shelf 1 minus the sum of the metric value. And I'll get rid of the count of data. So if you think of the whole pie as representing 1 or 100%, when the metric value is 15%, the formula we just created will return 85%. This creates the remaining portion needed to complete the full circle of the pie. And right now we can't distinguish the measure values in the pie, so I'm going to pull measure names into the marks and make this a color. For a regular donut chart, I would change the second mark to a circle. But since this one's going to be segmented, I'm going to change it to a shape. Then under shapes, I'll choose more shapes and use this custom shapes palette that I loaded in. And I'll have this image linked in the description, but this is basically just the skeleton of a segmented donut chart. So it has a circle in the middle and spikes extending outward. To see this image, I'm gonna right click on the sum of zero and make it a dual axis. And I'll also right click on the axis to synchronize them just to make sure they're not misaligned. Because the image has a transparent background, we can see the colors of the pie chart representing the progress behind the image. And to make the spikes reach the outer part of the pie chart, I'll use the size slider in the second marks to increase the size a little bit. And right now this is aggregating all the metrics. So to get this split up by metric so that we get four charts, I'll bring metric into the rows. And I also want to color this by metric, so I'm going to bring metric into the first mark and make it a color. But right now it's taking the sum of the metric values over all the different segments. So for a formula, I'm going to change sum to average. And for the metric value, I'm going to right click, go to measure, and choose average. Then I'll bring this one first since I want it to represent the beginning of the donut chart. Under the second mark where we have our shape, I'm going to bring our metric in and change it to a label. I'll also bring the metric value in and change it to a label. And again, it's taking the sum, so I'm gonna right click, go to measure, and choose average. For formatting, I'm gonna right click on the headers to remove them. Then I'll format the worksheet, and for the shading, I'm gonna choose none. Under borders, I'll remove the row divider and the column divider. And for the lines, I'll remove these zero lines for the sheet and the grid lines for the columns. And you can see these are pretty spaced out right now. So to get them closer, I'm going to use the size slider in the marks to increase the size. And now the spikes are a little bit too small, so I'm going to go to the second mark and use the size slider to increase the size a little bit. And I want the text inside the circle, so I'm going to use the label in the marks to center it horizontally and vertically. Then to format the text, I'll click the three little dots, and I'll make this size 11 font. I also want to move metric above the metric value. For the metric, I'm going to choose Tableau Regular, and for the metric value, I'll choose Tableau Medium. That way, the percent sticks out a little bit more. But right now, it's not a percent, so I'm going to right-click Format on our measure, and for the number formatting, I'll choose a percentage with no decimals. For the coloring, I'll edit the colors in the legend. And since the blue ones currently represent the remaining percentage, I'm going to change these all to a light gray. And for the portion that represents the actual percentage of the metric, I'm going to make these different colors. So for the gross profit margin, I'll choose a green color. 
For the operating profit margin, I'll choose blue. For the return on assets, I'll choose a yellow. And for the return on equity, I'll choose red. This is super small, but I think that it's a little bit off-centered when I use a percentage. So I'll go to Label in the Marks and put a space before the metric value. And now it just looks more centered. Now we have a method to create segmented donut charts in Tableau by overlaying an image. And I did it here for an easy comparison of multiple financial KPIs, like gross profit margin and return on equity. But you could also do this to represent progress like I have in this dashboard.